In this video, we're going to show you how to prepare your crypto taxes using Crypto.com tax. For more information on Crypto.com or Crypto.com tax, please check out everybethelps.co.uk. For those of you who are trying to get all your crypto taxes in order, you may be looking for a tool to make your life a bit easier. Well, Crypto.com, the one-stop shop for crypto, have created their users exactly that with Crypto.com Tax. Crypto.com Tax is an online tax tool that's completely free to use, and it assists users with preparing their crypto taxes. It does this by allowing users to connect to not only the Crypto.com app and their exchange, but also other popular exchanges and wallets, such as Binance, Exodus or Coinbase, and it does this with the use of APIs or CSV files. Reports can then be run with an easy-to-use interface, at zero cost regardless of how many transactions you have. Currently, you can generate tax reports for the likes of capital gains and losses, transaction history, income reports, gift donations and payment reports, and then there's also US-specific reports such as IRS forms and tax filing software imports for TurboTax Online and Tax Act. So let's jump in and take a look. To start using their Crypto.com tax service, you don't even need to be a Crypto.com user. You can simply sign up using your email address or Google account. Once you've signed up, you'll then be asked to verify your email. And when you've done that, you may also be asked to provide a one-time code so that you can enter the site. Next, you'll be prompted to select your settings. And this is where you'll need to select your transaction timeframe first. And this is so that all the imported transactions are converted to the right time zone. You then need to choose your tax jurisdiction. Crypto.com tax currently provides full support in Australia, the United Kingdom, Canada, Germany and the United States, with more jurisdictions to come. Then choose your tax year, base currency and cost basis. And all these can be changed later under your settings, which I'm going to show you shortly. You'll then need to agree to the terms and conditions and then save. Once that's all set, you then reach the main overview screen, which will show your current tax period, a quick start guide, which we're going to follow shortly. And then underneath, once you start plugging in all the exchanges or wallets, you'll then have information such as your net capital gains, your income and transactions, etc. So let's start by adding a wallet or an exchange first. So we're just going to click on to add here. From the add new wallet screen, you can then select the exchange, wallet or address from the list. And there's lots of different options which are categorized by blockchains, wallets, exchanges or other. So under wallets, you then obviously have the crypto.com app, but we also have other wallets such as Exodus or blockchain.com. Then we have exchanges such as Binance, Coinbase, FTX, Gemini, Kraken and KuCoin, etc. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to select the Crypto.com app and then I'm going to show you an example of an exchange using API keys afterwards. You can then enter in the name of that wallet or exchange and you can name this whatever you like. And then depending on the option of what you select from the top, the options for importing may vary. With the Crypto.com app, you've got the option to upload a CSV file for importing your data. But when you're dealing with exchanges, you may also have the options of importing APIs. If I choose to upload a CSV file now, I've got a list of instructions to follow, which is really handy to have. So let's just follow those instructions. So I need to log into my Crypto.com app. And then head across to the Accounts tab at the bottom of the screen. Then I need to press the icon in the very top right to open the transaction history. Then I need to press the icon in the top right hand corner again to export. Then I need to choose Crypto Wallet from the first drop down. Specify the start and end date. And make sure that the entire account history is covered. Then I'm going to export to CSV. And from here you can now download the CSV on the Export History tab. I'm going to go ahead and airdrop that now to my computer. Then I'm going to head back to Crypto.com Tax and upload my file to here. Your CSV file will then import and you'll see a summary detailing any skipped transactions. After importing your data, there may be errors. This is due to how complex cryptocurrency transactions are. 
it's important that you do go through all the different transactions just to ensure that they do match your records. If you do get the skip transactions, these are usually fiat deposits and withdrawals or they're staking transactions. And you can then click on to OK. Now, I'm not going to show you all of my transactions as this is an account that I actually use quite regularly. However, I'm just going to show you now how to add an exchange using API keys. And in this example, I'm going to choose Coinbase Exchange. Then I'll create a name again. And I'm going to choose API Sync. Where it then prompts me to continue with Coinbase. Then I need to authorize Crypto.com Tax to access my Coinbase account. So the app will receive information in relation to my public profile, transactions, account and detailed account information, which will apply to all of my wallets. If you're happy, you can authorize. And you'll see that the Coinbase API sync is now in progress and my tax is being calculated. Once your sync is complete, you'll see this under the wallets and exchanges tab at the top of the screen, where you can view an overview of your crypto assets and the number of transactions. Now, Crypto.com Tax currently supports more than 10,000 cryptocurrencies that are listed on CoinGecko, and they state that their team is watching the market closely with new cryptocurrency support being added periodically. Now, you'll see that there has been quite a lot of issues found. So if I click onto the tab here, it will then explain what has happened and how to resolve each one. Plus, they have an FAQ that you can use or you can chat with their support team if you need help. As you can see, a lot of mine are because of missing rates purchase history, or uncategorized, but you can manually edit these. And you can also find the resolutions and the reasons from their help center. If we just go back to the overview tab now, we can view our transactions for each crypto. And it will show you the rewards that you might have received or trades that you've done showing your gains. Now, if we head over to our overview again and scroll down, in here, you can then view your net capital gains and this then breaks that down by total costs, capital gains and losses. And your income is then categorized. So you can see if these were airdropped, mined, etc. And they will also show as rebates and gifts. You can also have a transaction list which you can add to manually too. And I just want to show you that under wallets and exchanges, this is where you can sync all your connected wallets or you can do these individually too. Each of these different types of wallets or exchanges will be listed on the left hand side of the screen. Plus, under this Actions drop-down is where you can rename, add manual transactions, import CSV files, disable your sync, or delete the exchange altogether. You then have your tax reports, and this is where you can edit your current settings, or you can run your reports. So I can run a report as a UK tax summary, transactions history, capital gains or losses or income reports, etc. As I explained at the very start, depending on your jurisdiction, you can also run reports which are specific to the US, such as IRS forms or tax filing import files for TurboTax Online or Tax Act. I'll just select Tax Summary and then download the CSV file. If I then open that up, it'll provide me with all the information I need on my crypto. And it also gives me some guidance underneath, which is pretty handy too. Now, if there are transactions that are showing on the report, these can also be excluded or ignored, which you can do under the transactions at the top of the screen. Then by clicking on the three dots to the right of your transaction, where you can then choose ignore. If you want to re-include a transaction at any time, you can simply select restore from the same menu. So that was my overview of the crypto.com tax. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.